With the political battle temperatures ascending to its boiling point, political leaders have been making grand entries into the grassroots, ready to move voters ahead of the August polls. However, electorates are changing tact by coming up with community manifestos that include their priority areas they need addressed by their leaders. This is part of ongoing dialogue initiated in Shewe Ward in Kakamega County to prepare the electorates come August 9th in electing responsible leaders who are focused on development. This approach that will be ongoing, we shall have several meetings, we shall set up a committee member from this particular committee because they belong here and they know better the priority area. The community here will come up with manifestos that will be submitted to all aspirants who will be required to make a commitment of implementation by signing it. Since it is an electioneering period, the community will also generate their own manifesto. Because from the priority we have identified that there are so many things that have not been done well and there are so many things that they need to be improved. So they will question the aspirant on the manifestos and they also present them, present to them what they need to to implement or which projects are of priority, apart from the one that will be subjected under social audit. According to Winnie Wanjala, who is the coordinator, electorates in the past have been left to feed on empty promises that political aspirants generate their own manifestos during the campaign period. We want the communities to come up with community manifesto, prioritize their needs and put them in a, in a document. And then they'll be able to sign these uh, manifestos with their leaders. So that the leaders are commit committing that once we get into power, we are going to do these development projects for you as a community. The project that the committee members have identified, the most critical one is health. That is the level of two uh, hospital or dispensaries that they have raised. They have also raised the issues of uh, a sewage system. Uh, they have also raised issues of uh, box caliber to their roads are not good and security. They need the flood mass so that they can do their business up to maybe odd hours or maybe extra hours. They need that kind of security to do that. Electorates have been called upon to scrutinize their leaders to get those who are sensitive to their needs, considering the hard economic times and increasing cost of living that is currently experienced in the country. Uh, we are also going to do social audits of uh, previous projects by our leaders. And uh, why we are doing this is to give our leaders a scorecard to see whether they delivered on their promises, whether they used uh, taxpayers' money prudently and efficiently. Where we find that the scorecards are low, we are definitely not going to re-elect these leaders. We want the community to do this so that they can be able to gauge their leaders based on uh, the issues that they are prioritizing in the community as opposed to just politicking. Davis Mberia, Ebro News.